So please take a comfortable seated position, something you can hold for a few minutes. Align your head, shoulders and hips, have your body nice and tall, your chest lifted. We can have your hands at heart center together or on your knees, palm facing up or down. And let's close our eyes. I want you to notice the ground underneath you. So feel yourself supported and connected to the earth. Notice where your sit bones, your ankles, your legs are touching. Can you feel the texture of the fabric or the floor or the mat? Mm. Can you zoom in and kind of feel your body touching? So where your legs are crossing, where your hands are resting. Feel your own skin. I want you to bring attention to your whole body skin. So try to feel the air around you. Feel the softness of the breeze, if there's one. Feel the temperature, the humidity. Maybe the air has a taste or smell to you. Can you feel your body hair moving or the fabric around you? Now let's bring attention to the noise that surrounds us. If you're outside, can you hear birds, the trees, the wind? Perhaps some sound at a distance. Find as one sound that you like. And just isolate it. If you want, you can bring some images to your mind and visualize an image, a scene, a place in the world. I like to imagine the green luscious trees that surrounds me, palm trees, colorful birds, flowers. Now let's return to our bodies. And I want you to pay attention to your breath, but not change a thing. Just watch yourself breathe one or two times. Is your breath shallow? Is it deep? How do you feel? With each and every breath going forward, I want you to lengthen them. What that means, I'm gonna slowly inhale and then slowly exhale. We're gonna take our time with each breath, slow down the process. Notice every movement that you do. Notice the belly moving chest rising, the, the flow in your, in your throat and esophagus, your nostrils perhaps 
vibrating and moving as the air moves in and out. Picture your breath cycle as like a circle, a flow. Maybe even add a color to each breath, to each part of the breath. After your next inhale, hold the air in your lungs. Let your lungs take out all the oxygen. Hold it for one, two, three, four seconds. <clears throat> and then with control, you exhale slowly and gently. Try to do four of those breaths. So just for four breaths, all you do is watch each and every step. You inhale softly and gently. You hold. And then equally gently you exhale. When you have completed your four breaths, just return to your natural breath, the one you do without any thoughts, any interventions. Take a moment to see what's happening in your mind after this simple, quick breathing technique. <clears throat> Do you feel any calmness, emptiness? Maybe your head is still buzzing at this time with ideas and things to do, which is okay. Let's return to the body. So Notice the skin, notice the breeze around you in the air. Come back to the floor, feel the grounding, feel the support. Keep your eyes closed, but bring your hands at heart center, prayer hands. As you inhale, I want you to lift both arms up. Once you reach the top, interlace, push them up, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, lower both arms down and gently open your eyes. Now we are ready for a yoga practice. Let's begin by um, paying attention to our feet and how we're standing. So you can have your feet together or hip distance apart. Feel the four corners of your feet, spread your toes and ensure that you're well grounded. Have your hips squared and ensure that you're the way between both feet is evenly distributed. You're not leaning on one side more than the other. So we want to balance our standing, hips straight. We have our shoulders relaxed, low on our back, but 
a bit open and kind of back. And then we're going to have our hands at heart center, prayer hands, uh, the thumb pressing ever so slightly against the rib cage. We're going to take a few breaths. Feel the air flowing through your body. I want you to notice which body part moves with you as you breathe. So is it your chest that lifts and maybe move your, your hands a little bit outwards? Or is it more of a belly motion or maybe a combination of both? So pay attention to your breath cycle. And as you continue breathing, exaggerate each breath just a little bit. So extend the motion, lift the chest, move the belly upward, get all the lungs filled with oxygen, and then slowly reverse the motion. Now let's isolate one body part at the time. So we're gonna do a bit of a breathing technique, breathing exercise. So I want you first to just breathe with your stomach. So as you inhale, you push the belly outward, open the diaphragm, and then feel yourself filling the lungs, but notice that it might be more the lower part of the lungs. And then once you fill the lungs, you reverse the motion and kind of sink your belly button and close the diaphragm so that it push the, um, the exhale out. So we'll do that a few times. We inhale, expand the belly, and exhale. We sink it in. Now that you've gained some control over that part, we're gonna shift the exercise to the chest and try to breathe solely with the chest. So we keep the hands at heart center so that we feel the motion. And then as we inhale, we lift the chest and feel ourselves opening our uh, rib area and feel the top of the lungs getting full. And as we exhale, we reverse the motion, kind of cave in, maybe even bring the shoulders a little bit in. And we're exaggerating the motion. So inhale, lift, just the chest, try to keep the stomach flat. Exhale, sink. This might feel a little bit weird if you're a belly uh, breather. It feels maybe constricting, but just do a few just to get used to the motion. And then now let's try to incorporate the two. So we'll start, let's now have, um, let's do right hand on the stomach, left hand on the heart center. As we inhale, we're gonna push the stomach and lift our hand so we open that diaphragm. So we inhale, and then once we fill the bottom, then we continue the motion, kind of like one single move and continue lifting the chest and feel, fill the top of the lungs. And then as we exhale, we reverse the motion. So chest caves in and then the belly button goes in and then we empty the lungs. So let's try to do three of those where we start at the belly, move to the chest and then reverse. Once you've done your three breaths, just return to your natural breath, the one you do without any thoughts, without any interjection. Have your hands where it's comfortable, can be by your chest, can be just holding your stomach, on your hips, or just by your side. 
just reconnect with your natural breath. Notice if there's any, any part of your breathing cycle that has changed. Now, continuing with this strong, equal, grounded standing, you may want to shift a little bit. If, if, uh, if there's any discomfort, uh, just make sure that you're very well balanced, your weight. We're going to bring the hands at heart center. And then we're going to inhale, lift both arms up. Once we reach the top, we lengthen, we lift up the arms, the, the, the elbows, the shoulders, and feel our spine elongating. Mm. On our next exhale, we're going to bring the arms down. Let's bring them back to heart center, and then we're going to keep building on this uh, routine. So we're going to bring the hands up as we inhale. We lift and maybe arch just a tiny bit, just enough so that your shoulders are kind of leaning a bit back. Maybe the head is tilting back. And then exhale, we're going to bring the hands at heart center. Let's take a full breath here. Let's inhale and lift. Once at the top, we lengthen, maybe arch just a tiny bit. And as we exhale, now we're going to swan dive. So we're going to keep the straight back, keep the straight legs, and try to come down and kind of fold over our own legs. You can bend the knees to relieve any tension. You can have your hands where you want. Um, you can have them on the floor, on your legs. Um, and then just hang for a moment. Just hang naturally. Like, don't try too much right now. This is our first one. We're going to move in this pose. Let's bend the knees. Inhale, rise up. Hands come up. We lengthen. Arch just a tiny bit. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. And breathe. We inhale and lift. We lengthen. We arch just a tiny bit. Maybe move a little bit more if you feel that you have space. Exhale, we're going to swan dive. In a forward fold, we do a micro bend in the knees, engage the leg muscles. Maybe grab your elbows if you want, and kind of like let your body kind of weigh your upper body weigh heavy, <clears throat> and just hang. Let's release the elbows. Let's. Bend the knees even more. Inhale, we lift and rise up. We lengthen. We arch a tiny bit. Exhale, bring the hands to the chest. Take a full breath. On the next inhale, we lift. We rise, we arch, and then swan dive. No, you can come into a ragdoll again if you want. Grab the elbows, hang low at the hips, at the waist. And then maybe swing side to side. Release the hands down and um, come to stillness. We'll bend the knees, lift and inhale. 
we rise up and arch and come to our heart center and take a full breath. Let's inhale and lift. Exhale, we fold. Hmm. Now if you want, you can just hang in the forward fold, um, but you can also um, bring um, one of your legs, let's start with the left foot and kind of um, cross it over. So, and then here you can kind of support yourself by grabbing somewhere um, this kind of stretches the legs in various points. And then again, we just try to fold over the legs. Let's uncross. So you may need to kind of use the floor. If you needed, you could have grabbed the block as well. Um, we can uncross the legs, readjust, be grounded and balanced. Bend our knees, inhale and rise all the way up. Once we reach the top, we lengthen, we arch a tiny bit, we bring the hands as we exhale to our heart. And take a breath. Let's inhale and lift. We lengthen, we arch. We dive as we exhale. And if you've done the cross leg, now let's do the other side so we balance everything. Um, I had moved my left leg, so now I'm gonna move my right foot. So I'm gonna plant my hands for a little bit of balance. We could have used a block. And then we're gonna cross right over the left. Find our balance. And then just allow our body to fold down and hang. Kind of relax in this pose. Now we'll uncross the legs. So find your balance, find your other point as you'll be losing connection with the floor out of that leg. So right on cross. We readjust to be square. We bend the knees, inhale, rise all the way up. We lift once we're at the top, we arch and then bring the hands down. Hmm. Now, feeling the four corners of our feet, again, these are, this is what is holding us um, to the ground. So we want all the toes to be spread out and feet flat and balanced. We're gonna bring the right foot um, either at the calf or the shin or a bit higher, it's up to you, but just never on the knee itself you find your balance, you find your dristi. So a dristi is just a point that you stare at. It's something that, ooh, <laughs> uh, it's something that is not moving. So don't use me, but find something maybe behind me to, uh, to look at. And once you have a bit of balance, then you bring your hands to heart center. You can leave them here. Or if you feel that, you can keep this pose, you can lift both arms up. So we're getting into a tree pose and the tree pose, I want you to keep your hips in mind and kind of like not have your knee like this, but open, create a bit of an opening. You engage your core, you lift your chest, but you're grounding at the feet, like your feet are attached to the floor, to the earth. And sometimes your tree will sway, that's completely normal. First, try to keep your dristi in your focus point and breathe. And 
Let's release the hands down. We're gonna release the leg. Maybe shake a little bit the legs. And then we're gonna go on the other side. So we're gonna ground that right foot, spread the toe, spread our roots. And then um, we bring the sole of the feet foot either on the calf, not on the knee. We don't wanna create that pressure. Um, but just at a spot that it's comfortable for you that you can use. We open that knee, keep our hips in mind. Stand nice and tall, find your same jersey or a new one, and then start hands at heart center. Hmm. Feel your tree growing as you get more balance. Lift your arms up. You can even test your balance a bit more by trying to look up. So this changes everything. Breathe into the pose. Picture your fingers as leaves, maybe. Trying to reach for the sun, for some rain. If you sway because there's a storm, it's okay. Just fine. Get back in the pose. Try again. Each time might be different. Let's release the hands back down and then release the foot. And then we're just gonna um, come down on the mat. So we're gonna have a seat. You can use a cushion if you want. I'll leave uh, Stumpy on it for now. <laughs> um, so you can use your cushion, you can sit on it, you can prop it under your hips, under your knees. Just make it comfortable for you. Um, stand nice and tall. You want to align your head, shoulders, and hips. Um, we're going to bring the hands at heart center. And then take a big inhale and lift up. Exhale. Let's release the hands back down. We're going to bring um, our right hand be behind us. So try to be like in the middle of your back, um, the hand, the fingers pointing outwards so away from you. And then we're going to lift the left arm up straight up. We're going to rotate. So keep the, the straightness in your spine. We're going to rotate the shoulders, kind of spin on ourselves. And then bring that hand to the left hand to right knee. And then use kind of that grab between like that, that position between your knee and the hand behind you to pivot just a little bit more. Try to look behind you. Over time, we want to line up our neck a bit with our shoulder. We're trying to really pivot the upper body. Mm. Let's release the twist, so we'll release the left hand, release the right hand, we calm down, come back to neutral, to straight, bring the hands to your heart center, we inhale and lift. We lengthen, push up, exhale, let's bring the hands to heart center. And then we'll go on the other side. So um, bring the left hand behind you, uh, fingers pointing away from you, planting on the mat. This is your support. We lift the right arm up. We bring it across to our left leg. We grab that knee with that leg, wherever it's comfortable. And then we'll pivot by keeping the spine straight. So we pivot the shoulders. We look behind us. Mm. These spinal twist pose are amazing for back health, for releasing um, just the muscles in that area. They promote a good uh, spinal flexibility. 
and amazing for digestion as well. And let's release the twist as we exhale. So release both hands. Let's bring them back to center, to our heart. We bring our um, thumbs in between both uh, rib cage, and then we inhale and lift. We lengthen. Exhale, let's lower them down again. Um, you can stay in this position, but I invite you to take a child pose. Um, so again, you could use a cushion to support like your, um, your body. So you could put a cushion, you could put a block in between the two legs here and then put a cushion to support you if going all the way is a bit difficult for your knees or for your legs. So prop yourself up, make yourself com comfortable. I like, um, we're gonna bring the hands to our heart center. We're gonna relax the shoulders. We're gonna inhale and lift. We lengthen the spine, make yourself nice and tall. Exhale, we're gonna just gonna fold, lower yourself down to where you can. Just gonna walk down. If you're here, that's okay. If you go all the way, that's also okay. Whatever feels right. From your child pose, we're gonna kind of stay laying down, but we're just gonna lift our head just a little bit. And then we're gonna inhale and walk the hands to the right. We stay folded, but just stretch ourselves. So we kind of create a bit of a, an arch in our side. Inhale, we walk the hands back to center. At the center point, we kind of elongate our spine. Exhale, we move to the left. And then create that same arch same stretch. Inhale and walk back to the middle. And then let's just fold down once again. If child pose is um, a good recovery pose for you, you can stay here and just rest. If this is a challenging pose for you, then you can just lay completely on your back so you can come up, move the legs a bit away, sit on, um, on, your, on your sit bones, extend the legs out, and then just find your way into a Shavasana. Or you can stay in a child pose as long as you need. In whatever recovery pose you've chose, chosen, um, I want you to get back to the breath. So bring the hands, the, let's do left hand on the chest, right hand at the heart, at the stomach, and do that same breath we were doing earlier. So where we, um, we kind of zone in on the stomach and then zone in on the chest. So let's start again. We inhale, lift the stomach, push the belly button out. Exhale, sink it back in. Now maybe we change and shift the focus to the chest. We inhale up, 
Notice the, how it's a bit more difficult to do this uh, breathing technique, laying down, it changes things, but still try and make the effort to just isolate one part of your body that controls the breath. Once you feel comfortable with both part, link them in. So inhale, lift the stomach, continue the motion, lift the chest. As you inhale, feel both the bottom and the top part of the lungs, and then gently reverse the motion, sink the chest, and then the stomach. So do three of those breaths. So where you, you're observing the whole process, observing every step, you're part of it. You feel the flow of the, the air and maybe even picture sort of this like circle, like the, the motion of the breath. During those three breaths, you focus entirely on that. If you get sidetracked, just get back to it. You'll get back to the thought later, you'll remember, but right now just observe and watch yourself breathe. Once you've finished your breath, return to the natural breath, the natural breathing cycle. Take your favorite sort of shavasana um, and just rest. Observe your mind, observe the body. I want to thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.